As the natural escort to capital ships and auxiliaries, destroyers are the ubiquitous shepherds of the fleet. Usually armed with 5-inch guns and a powerful torpedo battery, they do everything cruisers or battleships cannot do. They steam faster than most ships in the force, with a maximum speed usually superior to 35 knots. On the other hand, their lighter construction precludes the use of any serious armor, and their performance degrades heavily in bad weather. Their endurance is also somewhat limited, and steaming at high speeds to follow carriers and battleships in combat will force them to refuel at sea every few days. The new generation of destroyers built in the 1930s provided the American and Japanese navies with potent all-round combatants. These solid designs had a remarkably lethal and diversified armament, allowing them to accomplish a number of missions in support of the fleet. Although they tended to be specialized towards one role or another on a class basis or following timely refits, destroyers still remain the most adaptable and versatile ship types in your force. They are your primary choice to deal with a submarine threat as their maneuverability, along with their underwater sensors and armament, are the most capable of all combatants in your task force. Whenever equipped with dual-purpose guns and lighter anti-air weapons, they are an important layer of a proper fleet defense plan against air attacks. When fitted with a radar, they can be used forward of the main force as an early warning picket against airstrikes and surface forces. As plane guards, they will rescue airmen who ended up in the water and transfer them back to their ship. Finally, their torpedoes might do a short work of ships several times their size, especially when night combat makes engagement ranges closer and deadlier. By early 1942, three main types coexist in the American Navy. Early destroyers, known as flush deckers due to the design of their hull, are mainly used for second-line duty or converted into auxiliary roles, such as fast transports, mine layers, minesweepers, or light tenders. Pre-war fleet destroyers such as the Farragut, Mahan, Bagley, Sims, or Benham classes are capable units. On paper, they're able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with their intimidating Japanese counterparts, but were handicapped early on by their defective Mark 15 torpedoes and a general lack of advanced night fighting doctrine and training. Finally, destroyer leaders such as the Porter class are larger ships with a more powerful yet single-purpose gun battery. They're designed to serve as squadron flagships and lead other destroyers in surface combat. By the end of 1942, all these designs were getting progressively sidelined by the commissioning of the Fletcher-class destroyers and its derivatives. These new ships concentrated and streamlined successfully all of the functions of the modern fleet destroyer, providing the U.S. Navy with a large and efficient tin-can force, which was armed to the teeth. At the same time, smaller destroyer escorts went into service and replaced the fleet destroyers in their former convoy escort duties, which allowed their bigger cousins to focus on the task of screening fast carriers and battleships. <laughs>